What is good, gamers? It's your boy, The Goods, and we are back for episode number 22, the finale. That's right. I'm calling it right now. We are ending this trial right here, right now. It is possible to prove evidence where Von Karma was shot. That's right. Von Karma got shot, and I'm going to prove it. I'll even use evidence. I know how you like it so much. What? The evidence that proves uh, the evidence that proves Von Karma was shot is the metal detector. Von Karma is perfect. He wouldn't risk surgery leaving an evidence trail. So then I ask, where's that bullet now? I think it unlikely that Von Karma performed surgery on himself. You you don't mean? I do. There's a possibility the bullet's still inside Von Karma. Is that even possible? For all these years? Well, there's one way to find out. We could use this metal detector. Well, Von Karma, I'm gonna run this over you and see what we find. Objection! Uh, I refuse! You refuse? But refusing this means... You acknowledge that the bullet is still inside you? No way. Order! 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 Your Honor, the defense requests that we be allowed to use the metal detector. Objection! Judge, I call for a suspension of this trial. This is an invasion of privacy. Objection! The statute of limitations runs out in this case today. It was you who said we had to end it right here, right now. Mm -mm. Enough! I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to testing. Nick, what does this mean? I don't know. We have to give it a shot. Oh my god. It reacted. Something's inside his right shoulder. The bullet. Mr. Von Karma? You. It was you. I was afraid this would happen, and so I remained silent. Indeed, there was a bullet in my shoulder. However, it has nothing to do with this incident. What? I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. But, Mr. Von Karma, can you prove that? Prove? I have no obligation to prove anything. It is Mr. Wright who must prove something here, not I. Mr. Wright? Well, can you prove it? Can you prove the bullet in Von Karma's shoulder was from DL6? Of course he can't. You don't have any of the DL6 evidence. That's because you took it out of the records room yesterday, jackass. With no proof, you cannot convict me of any crime. So sorry, Mr. Wright. No. I'm the one who's sorry, Mr. Von Karma. What? You were close. <coughs> one day away from freedom. But you see, I have proof. What? Who would have thought you'd dig your own grave trying to convict Edgeworth? I can link that bullet in your shoulder to the DL6 incident. And here is my final proof. Oh, I have the bullet. That's... a bullet? Where did you get that? This is the bullet used in the DL6 incident. This was taken from the heart of the victim, Mr. Gregory Edgeworth. The bullet is preserved quite nicely, with all the ballistic markings intact. Ballistic markings... <laughs> you may recall the term. It came up in the first trial two days ago. Ballistic markings are the fingerprints of a weapon. All bullets fired from a gun are marked with that weapon's unique pattern. By examining the markings, you can tell which weapon fired the bullet. It's quite accurate. We have two bullets in our possession. One, the bullet removed from Gregory Edgeworth's heart. The other, Mr. Von Karma, is the bullet buried in your shoulder. We can analyze both bullets. Then, if the markings match, we could know that both bullets have been fired from the same gun. The very same pistol, in other words, the murder weapon that killed Gregory Edgeworth. 
Mr. Von Karma. You will let us remove the bullet from your shoulder. Then we'll compare the ballistic markings to those on this bullet. And solve this case once and for all. Well, Mr. Von Karma? What is he doing? That scream. I've heard that scream before. Wait. I know. I remember. For real. Help, I can't breathe. Quiet. I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. Stop breathing my air. I'll stop you. Stop breathing my air. Father! Get away! Get away from my father! <laughs> It's that scream I heard in the elevator. Fifteen years ago. Von Karma! It was you who screamed! Mr. Von Karma? Oh, it was! It was! Only you would dare defy me! So it was you. You and your father are my curse! Your father shamed me with a penalty on my record! And you, you left a scar on my shoulder that would never fade. I'll bury you something, something, something. Damn. Damn. Chills, bro. Chills. Fifteen years earlier. Chief Prosecutor, I'm sorry. Von Karma, it's not like you to make this kind of error. I never thought it. I never would have thought that Edgeworth would be the one to catch you. I was careless. I'm sorry, but you'll have to be penalized. I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. Hedgeworth! It was a shock like none had ever known. Me? Penalized? It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness. I was in the court records room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went into the hall and felt my way to the elevator. I pressed the button, but nothing happened. Then there was a noise. I was in pain. A horrible burning pain in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on. The elevator door opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then it was destiny. <laughs> Damn. Damn. In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died never knowing who had shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled. He was the perfect crime. That's crazy, though. No, you know what's fucked up? No, you know what's fucked up? <laughs> it was so perfect. Okay, listen, listen. He got... Yanni Yogi, like, stuck in a shack pretending to be nuts, okay, killed Gregory Edgeworth and then took his son, Miles Edgeworth, under his wing and turned him into a prosecutor, right? That's, like, the ultimate, like, fuck you. That's, like, the ultimate, like, like just beat down to somebody's manhood, <laughs> you know what I mean? Is, like, taking their son away from them. That's crazy. You know, and, and then molding them into, into becoming your, into you being their role model, <clears throat> right? Murdering him and taking his firstborn son, right? That's fucked up. He hit a three-peat, okay? Had, the, had everything set up. He got away with the murder. <laughs> and in the final hour, bro, the final hour, okay, December 28th. When shit was about to run out. Ace attorney Phoenix Wright. Said fuck the bullshit. I am turning the score around. <laughs> Got Yanni Yogi convicted. Cleared Edgeworth's name. Found. Von Karma. <laughs> guilty of the crime. And the score is all tied up bro. <laughs> the score is all tied up. Tisk tisk tisk. Who would have thought another man would come to open that elevator door? Judge, 
What? What are you doing? Do your job, bring an end to this miserable charade. Now, end it. Very well. And, and, and. Phoenix Wright made Von Karma lose his first ever trial. Four points, four three. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, comes out on top. Again. It appears we have come from a very long way to the end of this maze. Fifteen years later, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. You were innocent. You are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, not guilty! Let's go. Let's go. Get fucked. <clears throat> that is all. Court is adjourned. God, that was a lot. That was a lot. What, what did we... <laughs> What did we start this at? Episode 13? We started this shit at episode 13, and what are we at now? Episode 22? That's crazy. Nick, Nick, we did it! Did you see his face? Von Karma looked even paler than usual. He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crushed him, Nick, crushed! I gotta say, I'm impressed. <laughs> it was pretty close, though. I was sure we'd had it. <laughs> I know, I was on the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. So, it's finally over, Edgeworth. Right. Yeah? I... I'm not sure how to say this. I know, I know. Try thank you. Damn! <laughs> she said, try thank you, asshole. I... I see. Thank you, right. You're welcome. I think you could have done better than that. Sorry, I'm not good at this sort of thing. You got a lot to learn, Edgeworth. She's got you there. Oh, oh, amazing, pal! You pulled through just like I thought you would. I'll never forget this I owe you one, pal. And tonight, let's party. Dinner's on me. And yeah, my salary went down a bit this month, but who cares? See, Mr. Edgeworth, you should take a lesson from Detective Gumshield. That's how you say thank you. Ah, I, I see. <clears throat> Woo! I I feel foolish. <laughs> Don't worry, take it a little at a time. You'll get used to it. It's been 15 years since I've seen Edgeworth this unguarded. Oh, he looks. Oh, he's so cute. Look at his little face. He's like, he's like, was scared. <laughs> hey, y'all! Lana! Y'all were great in there. Uh, thank you. Yo, Edgeworth! Congrats! Uh, thank y'all very much. I knew you were innocent from the start, of course. Just look at you. You wouldn't stick your hand in the cookie jar even if no one was there. You were the witness on the first day of the trial, weren't you? Yeah, well, let bygones be bygones, eh? Speaking of which, what are you doing now, Lotta? Who, me? Oh, I went back to college. I gave up trying to be an investigative reporter pretty quick. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? Yo, Larry. It's over, Nick. My life is over. And why the sad face, Larry? What happened now? Oh, Nick. I'm not long for this world. Uh, you don't look sick. It's Keyonce. She's going to live in Paris, Nick. Paris. She's leaving me behind. Should have seen that coming. Yo, Edgy. There you are. Uh, yes. Here I am. Congrats, Edgy! Here's a little gift for me in celebration. Celebration? That's unusual for you. Harry Butts, you come along too tonight. My treat, pal. Oh, uh, thanks. Looking forward to it. Yo, yo, Nick. That's the suit that questioned me. When he says treat, that's not police talk for prison food, right? Right? I think you'll be fine, Larry. Right. Yeah? What's up? That envelope Larry gave me. It's got money in it. Well, yeah, that's not that strange. People give money away to celebrate sometimes. It's $38, right? Huh? What a weird amount. I mean, it's not a little, but it's not a lot either. $38 exactly? Nick, wasn't that 
the amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? 38? No! No! Larry, it was you! What are you so surprised about, right? Huh? Larry was absent that day from school, right? But that doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day, 15 years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored, so he came into school anyway. Then he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. I never was good at history. <laughs> Edgeworth, you didn't know, did you? <laughs> I suspected. I just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. Right, you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in school. When something smells, it's usually the butts. I know, I know. Really right, I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. Well, this sure is an unexpected turn of events, eh? Edgeworth. Huh? You should have told me. <laughs> now, now, Nick, it was 15 years ago. Don't you think this statute of limitations has run out, Mr. Edgeworth? I'd say so, yes. There you have it. Where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what you two did. Well, you've always been something of an insufferable emotionalist. Yeah, and you get worked up too easily, too. Death, the, the death sentence for both of you. Man, if only I'd know it, I'd become a prosecutor. The same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I'd known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. Edgeworth. Want to switch, right? <laughs> hey, y'all, lined up. I'll take a photo. Hey, photo time. Let's go. And after that, dinner on me. Uh, Detective Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. We celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom, even though Edgeworth himself was still a detective. <laughs> Ain't no way they left his ass in jail. Ain't no way. <laughs> Whoa, I went a little overboard yesterday. My head hurts. Huh, it's still only five. Maybe you should go back to sleep. Huh, what's this? A letter? <clears throat> Good morning, Nick. You were really impressive yesterday. Seeing you, it made me think about what I'm doing here. I'm a spirit medium. In training, of course. I wanted to help Mr. Edgeworth, too. I wanted to help you. But I couldn't. I was useless. So I've decided to go back to my training. I'll become a full-fledged spirit medium, for starters. I couldn't say it to your face, so I left this letter. Goodbye, Nick. Oh. Goodbye? What time is it? Uh, the first train for the mountains have already left. To the station! I guess I'm too late. <laughs> hey! Nick! Maya! Maria! So, you're leaving? Yeah. It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. And I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good, okay? Wait! What? I never could have saved Edgeworth without your help. On the last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. You heard my sister? Yes, only her voice, but still. It was at the very end when I thought we'd lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Detective Gumshoe helped, and Mr. Grossberg, and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help. I was useless, Nick. But you were the one who stopped Von Karma, Maya. Huh? I didn't do anything. All I did was wander around in a daze. Sorry, but I have evidence that you helped. Evidence? Should buy some evidence and cheer up. <laughs> A bullet? On Karma was convinced he'd taken all the evidence pertaining to DL6. But you were the one who rescued the last piece of evidence we needed. This was the bullet that put an end to Von Karma. And you were the one who gave it to me. Nick. Thanks, Maya. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll be back soon. Huh? I'm going to complete my training and come back. Okay, I'll be waiting. Of course you will. You can't run that office by yourself. You're helpless. 
I don't know about that. So this is it. See you soon, Maya. Oh, oh! Thanks, Nick. Oh, Mystic Maya, come back! It had to happen. It ha she has to train. She has to train for the next game, bro. And so my story ends. Time to turn a new page and say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that I once was. Now a new story begins. With the same old crazy cast of characters. Ah, don't think you've graduated yet, amateur. Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to rethink that claim? Uh, yes, your honor. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. Hmm. Chills, bro, chills. I love this game so much, and I would be lying... Hold on. Hey, pal! Mr. Edgeworth came down to the precinct to wish me a happy new year! Talk about a pleasant surprise! Whoa, Detective Gumshoe! And then he hung his head low and went right back outside. Kinda like he was embarrassed or something. Strange, huh? This is one of my favorite games. I would be lying if I said that I was not gonna finish the series at some point. Because I swear to you I will, bro. I swear to you at some point. Hold on. Oh, Nick! No, I haven't seen him lately. Oh, me? I've been working at a cheese shop. That Missy's a nice lady, but she's not exactly what you call a cheap date. Huh? Oh, she's in Hawaii right now, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely- I'm playing the DLC at some point. I'm playing the DLC. <laughs> at some point. Yo, what the fuck? Alright, yeah, I remember him. I hear he's been busy lately. You know, not to ring my old bell, but I sort of taught him everything he knows. I'm sure he's grateful. I'm gonna be honest, I completely forgot you existed, Broham. <laughs> completely forgot you existed, big dog. Phoenix Wright? Hmm. Ah, uh, the defense attorney for whom I wrote that affidavit for, yes. Oh, you should know, I've taken over management of the Gatewater Hotel recently. Should you be in the area, please stop by. I can never tell when they're gonna do some shit. I'm finishing this shit out, 100%. 100%, bro. Um, oh, here we go, here we go, it's time. <coughs> oh, it's you! Phoenix Wright? Oh, yes, Mia's understudy, was he not? I wonder how he's doing. I haven't seen him of late. Are the days of my youth like the scent of fresh lemon, you see? Oh, I love this game so much. Oh, okay, you know what, you know what, you know what? You know what? <laughs> you know what, Doug? Phoenix Wright! Is he an actor? Well, I'm not buying it. You can't be a star with a name like Phoenix. I forgot her voice, bro. It, oh, it, 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 something else. Damn it, damn. Everything these days, I'm supposed to keep up with it. I'm old. That's it, that's she's old. Oh, when the old man. <laughs> something like that, I don't know. <laughs> I could have botched it at first, I forgot. Oh, right, here we go. I'm pleased to announce the Pink Princess is a hit. I sure owe that Mr. Wright a great deal. Oh, and I'm keeping my face out of public till the show's over. I wouldn't want to ruin any kid's dreams, you know? <laughs> so many characters, bro. Such a colorful cast. All right, hey, yo, hey, yo hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the announcement for the end. I'm gonna save the announcement for the end. Now oh, I got a letter from Mile the other day. It sounds like she caught a cold standing under a waterfall. I wanted to visit, but I didn't have time, so I sent her some pink princess trading cards. She says she can't, she can't buy them where she is. What kind of place is he living at, anyway? That's a hard one to do. <laughs> Thank God I had to do Salmonella, because his ass is in jail, bro. What are they even talking about, Mama? <laughs> right? Who's that? You want to talk? Let's talk pink princess. All right. But you know, I snuck into the studio the other day. And I saw her. The one inside the pink princess suit. Ah, uh, what a dog. He was kind of a shock for a boy of my tender age. Damn, he says she ugly as shit. I'll save the announcement till the end. I'll save the announcement. I've covered all the bases. I love this game. It's peak. Peak game. Yeah, I remember, right? That lawyer guy. 
Huh, me? I'm in training to become a paranormal photographer. You know, that picture I took of everyone? Well, just behind them, there's a ghost. For real. Now that's talent. I'm gonna be famous. The longest credits, I, I normally will just, like, the credits just fucking end. Oh, that's, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Binga Zonga Mama herself, bro. Be a fae. Oh, fuck, bro. Hold it. They really said, by the way, there is a DLC. Um... I didn't plan that. I didn't know they were gonna do that shit. But, but that's right. That's right. You'll see it <coughs> in the trailer that airs tomorrow. I'm spoiling it now. I will do the DLC for. I will do the DLC for this game because technically it's not done. There is, you know, I mean the story's over. Like the game is over. But this is DLC. I will do the DLC. Um. What is it? I will do the DLC the 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Um, so that is six episodes. <laughs> okay. Supposedly, supposedly it's about seven hours long, if that's correct. So what I'll do is I will do two videos a day. I'll do two videos. I'm not going to record hour long videos. I'll do two videos a day. That's what I'm going to do. You will see. In the trailer, I'll have them recorded in advance before I even do. I'm recording this November 13th. This video is dropping December 14th. Okay, I'm doing this a whole month in advance so I can plot all this out. I'm doing the DLC all that week. If I have to do two two episodes at a time, so be it. But I'm gonna record them half an hour at a time, just like these. Um, I love Ace Attorney so much. Let me save the game save my progress thank you for watching <laughs> next time you see me next week we will get into episode 5 the DLC rise from the ashes um, I'm so fucking excited I, I am so excited bro um, <clears throat> one day I'll bring this up and I'll do game number 2 I've actually never finished game number 2 um, so I will finish game number 2 I'll, pl I'll start game number 2 and I'll finish it all the way through um, and then game number three can happen eventually, but for now, I'm gonna get up out. Thank you so much. Catch the finale of Deltarune on Saturday. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be uploading Detective Pikachu just nonstop all day, like every hour. Um, so get excited for that. But for now, this is the end of Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright. DLC is all next week, and uh, get hyped for season four. The trailer drops tomorrow along with Detective Pikachu. I'm going to see you guys later. Bye-bye.